Dr. Tan Wu Ming. Chairman, I have a clarification to ask of Second Minister. Second Minister spoke about home team transformation. We have a manpower lean environment, also an aging population, which means the SCDF emergency call numbers are going to continue to rise. So I was wondering how will MHA and the home team work to address this, please? Mr. Chairman, um, in terms of emergency calls, the SCDF now handles about 183,000 calls a year. And what that translates to is 500 calls a day and about one every three minutes. And based on SEDS projections, um, the number of emergency services calls will double by around 2030. And so we will have to find ways to cope. Uh, essentially two things. One, of course, we will have to grow our fleet of emergency ambulances. But I think we also have to make better use of our limited resources. And what that means is that we will have to introduce the tiering of our responses according to the severity of the cases. And the severe cases that are life-threatening, like if you have a cardiac arrest or loss of consciousness, those are of the highest priority. Because in a cardiac arrest, Dr. Tan would know this, another minute of delay and you have maybe about 7 to 10 percent reduction in probability of survival. So you need to give it the highest priority. But not every 995 call is a life-threatening emergency. In fact, about 10 percent are false alarms. And as incredible as it may sound, we've had people call us for constipation. And so if that translates to, on average, two non-emergency calls every hour, and someone calls in, and you have a cardiac arrest, but the SEDF resources are tied up, then we will be in serious trouble. So we have to prioritize, and target time to respond to different types of calls will not be the same. But unless we do so, no amount of resources will be enough to make sure that the critical cases <coughs> are always attended to first.